to my remembrance and as he begins to bring things back to my remembrance I begin to give credit to Jesus for what he has done on the cross he has washed me of my sins he has redeemed me of my past he has been the one that has saved me he's the one that I worship I don't worship man or woman I appreciate my brothers and my sisters but when I come into the temple it's only one that I'm looking at worshiping and glorifying because his blood is released upon me and now he presents me to the father as if I've never done anything. Now I'm innocent, not because of my good works, but because of Jesus Christ. Now, if we understand these three offices, I talk to people often and I let them know that I, even myself, I operate in three offices as a husband, as a father, and also as a pastor. But I understand I can't treat my wife the way that I treat my young adults, and I can't treat my young adults the way that I treat the church. There is a yes. position that we all have to operate in, yes. and as we begin to operate in those positions and acknowledge them for who they are, they become alive in our lives. The Holy Spirit of God said, I am with you and I'm ready. You got to put me in the game. If you'll begin to talk about me, if you'll begin to appreciate me, I will rise in your spirit. I will bring things back to your remembrance. No one will be able to gainsay nor reprove you because I am with you. I will reveal things to you. I will tell you who's fake and who's real. I will begin to stir in your spirit spirit. You just need to begin to talk about me. You need to begin to appreciate me. You need to wake up in the morning and invite me into your world. And as you begin to do that, I'll take you to a new level in God. And I'll begin to show you that this blood will work for you. But you first got to acknowledge me. It's not just the words being spoken blood. It is the life that's being released blood. When I say the blood of Jesus, I'm not just saying it because of something to say. I have experience with the blood. And and I understand that that same blood in my natural life is a representation of the blood that's happening spiritually. I would die if the blood was not running through my veins in the natural, and I would die if the blood was not running in my spiritual veins. And it's because of the blood of Jesus that now I can be presented to the Father. Jesus said, I know what he's done. The devil says, yeah, but look what he's done last week. The devil said, how can he be up there preaching when he did X, Y, and Z? And now Jesus said, that's what you say, Satan. But I can present him faultless to the only wise God because of my blood. You can't say anything about my blood. I don't hear you, Satan. What are you saying about my blood? Yeah, he did do that and he is guilty. But I still haven't heard you say anything about my blood. It's my blood that gave the victim over you. And it's my blood that redeemed him. And Satan, when you look a little closer, we can't see him or her because all we see is the blood. It's the blood that's washing us. It's the blood that's redeeming us. It's the blood of Jesus that's bringing life. It's the blood of Jesus that's bringing hope. And the blood of Jesus is being pumped into our spiritual veins. Just as the natural blood is being pumped into our natural veins. Are you hearing what I'm saying? So amen, as you begin to open your mouth, as you begin to open your eyes in the morning, begin to talk about the Holy Spirit. Say, Holy Spirit, I expect you to lead me today. Holy Spirit, I expect you to teach me. Humble yourself and say, I don't know. What should I do today, Holy Spirit? Lead me into all truths. Who should I spend time with? Where should I go? What should I say? When should I sit down? When should I stand up? When should I talk? When shouldn't I talk? Where should I go? Where should I be? Who's my true friend? Who's the company I should keep? Teach me, Holy Spirit. Lead me. Guide me. Teach me. Show me. And he will show you all things to come. And the Holy Spirit says, Welcome, Holy. Now I'm your friend and I guide you. Yes. I want you to follow me through dangerous territories. Mm -hmm. I want you to follow me when things don't make sense. Right, Trust it. me. Trust me. And let me lead you where I want you to go. Will you trust me? Can we have a new relationship in this place? Can you come here, Brother Hurt? Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Now watch it now. Hallelujah. In the natural, let me hold your hand. In the natural, we're going to walk right here. In the natural. Okay, let me be paying attention. Now close your eyes. Now, when we trust the Holy Spirit of God, 
He leads us to the same thing sometimes, but then he pulls us to safety. And he begins to guide us, and he says, I need you to trust me now. I'm about to lead you somewhere that don't seem to make sense, but don't go nowhere. Trust me, and I'll pull you away, but it's going to get uncomfortable sometimes. But let me lead you, and God, you might bump a little bit because you're still thinking in the natural mind, but I'm going to lead you. It's not going to, uh oh, uh, that's okay. I still got you. A, a, a righteous man may fall down seven times but the Lord will pick them up again and let me lead you into truth let me lead you and guide you and even though you may bump yourself a little time I'll pull you out of that situation and that storm but I need you to talk to me and trust me let me lead you and guide you if you'll let me lead you and guide you now all of a sudden you trust me more and you're not bumping in anything because now all of a sudden you walked with me now all of a sudden you've been talking to me for a little while and you know how I move you know how I flow and you get close to danger but all of a sudden I lead you and I guide you. Can you give the Lord a hand yeah. praise in the house of God? The more we begin to talk with the Lord, the more we begin to acknowledge the Holy Spirit, the more real he becomes in our lives. The Holy Spirit of God said, I need to be active in your life. I need you to acknowledge me because if you don't acknowledge me, you got two parts of the Godhead correct. But there's an explosion when all three are in operation. You're worshiping Jesus and you're doing good. Keep worshiping him. That is correct to do. You are acknowledging that God the Father is having everything and you are on point. You are doing great. But the power of the Holy Spirit is in us. Uh, we worship Jesus by faith, but the Holy Spirit is in us telling us to worship Jesus. But then do we turn around and say, Holy Spirit, I'm so glad you're in my life. I'm so glad you lead me. To all truth. I'm so glad you intercede for me because sometimes I don't know what to pray for. Right. Sometimes my mind is all over the place, but I'll smile before the saints, but I'm hurting. Mm -hmm. So, Holy Spirit, take over. And He might say, He la 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 in my natural mind, that makes no sense to me, but he's taking me somewhere. Yes. So as I hear it, I begin to fight it, and I quench it, and I stop it. And he says, come on, let me speak. And I'm looking around to see who's looking, because my natural mind is still at war. He says, let me take over, and then I go a little deeper in God, and I begin to trust him. And eyes are looking at me, but I don't care, because now I'm in the spirit realm. Take my hand, Father. Lead me into all truth. And he's leading me and he's guiding me. And I'm trusting him. And I don't know what he's doing with my life. But one thing I know for sure is that he has my best interest at heart. I don't need to know everything. All I need to know is that you're with me. If I know that God is with me, he's more than the world against me. Just let me know. Just let me hear that you're with me. I can fight the giants if you're with me. I'm not worried about them. All I need to hear from you is that I'm with you. Yes. yes God. Holy Spirit. Thank you, Jesus. And as we begin to build relationship with the Holy Spirit, Jesus says, well, I've been standing between God the Father and you all along. Mm -hmm. Because let me wrap up with this. If you understand the character of God, God is holy. And when he sees sin, he destroys. Yes. That's all God has ever done. God has looked down, and when he's seen sin, he's come to destroy, consume, destroy, consume, destroy. There, there's no conversation. There's no, we're not talking about anything. You sin, you die. I open up the ground, you swallow. It's over. But he says, listen, now I've sent a better covenant. I've come now with my anger when I see sin, but I'm stopped because of the blood. So the blood covers us. God hasn't changed his mindset about sin. How do I know? He even left Jesus. The spirit left Jesus while he was on the cross. He says, my God, my God, why hast thou forsaken me? And Jesus died on the cross as a natural man. 
He was taken off the cross as a natural man. He was buried in the cave as a natural man. But when the fullness of time came, the spirit connected with the body again and rose in the, on the third day. And that is how life is with us. When we are separated from God, we don't feel his presence. We don't sense his voice. It feels that he's so far away from us. Yeah. God said, begin to acknowledge the power of the Holy Spirit that resides within you. Yeah. Begin to repent to Jesus Christ and the blood will begin to wash you and free your mind. And as the blood begins to free your mind and renew you and revive you, Jesus says, now you're at a point that you are totally surrendered to me. I'm going to take you and present you to the Father as if you've never done anything at all. So if God is, if Jesus is going to present us as if we've never done anything at all, I need y'all to talk back to me. What is Satan's job? Right. Mm -hmm. Still kill, destroy, accuse us. To bring us before the, uh, the, the Father. Remember when they did such and such? And he ministers to our minds all along. And because we are guilty of it. I'm not talking, listen, I, when, I, when, I'm, when I'm ministering now, I don't want you to think about something you didn't do. I'm talking about something you did do. Right. Satan brings to pass the very thing that we are actually guilty of. Right. This is what I'm teaching. Mm -hmm. But when he brings it to pass, God says, in spite of that. That's it. Yes. That's it. Hallelujah. In spite of the truth that you're bringing to me, I don't see it anymore. Mm -hmm. That's right. I look down and I see the blood flowing. Glory. The blood flowing and washing and renewing. Yes. And I see my saints Hallelujah. worshiping me. Can you stand to your feet for a Hallelujah. moment? Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Hallelujah. Thank you for your blood, God. If you've accepted the Lord as your personal Savior, you have the Holy Spirit of God in you. It's not based on the feeling. Some people teach you you got to feel a certain way or you have to speak in tongues. That's not necessarily true. Sometimes when you have the Holy Spirit, it will be revealed through speaking in tongues. But when you accept Jesus as your personal Savior, the Holy Spirit enters your spirit. And you become a new creature in Christ. Now there are different manifestations that are revealed in time. But the Holy Spirit inside of you will begin to speak and convict and reveal what we need in our lives. I want us to take a few seconds. And as we begin to worship the Lord, I need us to acknowledge the power of the Holy Spirit that's working in us. Maybe we need to repent because we have not, not that you've necessarily committed any outward sins, right. but we have not acknowledged him for who he is. Yes. And when we begin to acknowledge him for who he is, our Christian walk becomes stronger yes. with the Lord. Because now it's not you praying. It's not you taking control of things. Remember I said it's the Holy Spirit that maketh intercessions for you and I right. with groanings which cannot be uttered. Yes. Father, I don't know what I'm going through. I'm just hurt. I'm struggling. Will you just allow the Holy Spirit to take over and begin to pray for me and intercede for me? Because I don't know what to pray. I know I'm going through something and I know I'm hurting. I know it don't feel good, but I need the Holy Spirit to step in and pray. Because I understand that I have Jesus now standing between God's anger and my sin. And it's his precious blood that constantly holds back the anger of God. And now I understand that when I understand these principles, that Jesus can present me faultless yes, yes. before the only wise God. Yes, so let's worship him for a moment with the revelation yes, and understanding yes. that the three have always been one. Father, we worship you. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for coming alive in our spirits today. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for teaching me. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for bringing things Yes. to my remembrance. Yes. Yes. Thank, you, Thank you, Holy Spirit, for showing me yes. how to worship. Yes. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for constantly redirecting me to Jesus when I want to go to my own yes. way of thinking. Yes. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for stopping me from not going off on somebody when I want to go off. Thank you for convicting me of sin, Holy Spirit. Thank you for breathing life into me, Holy Spirit. Thank you for teaching me the word of God, Holy Spirit. And because the Holy Spirit is moving and teaching, I'm able to worship the Lord Jesus Christ. And I worship him with knowledge. I worship him with wisdom. I don't just 
try this. I'm worshiping him with an understanding. I'm worshiping him with knowledge that it's the Holy Spirit that's brewing inside of me and causing me to worship him even when I don't feel like it. And even when I'm tired and when I'm struggling, the Holy Spirit begins to intercede for me. And he begins to push for me. And he begins to war for me. And he begins to pray for me. Because sometimes I don't know how to pray. I don't know what to pray. I actually have given up oftentimes. And the Holy Spirit begins to pray on my behalf. Yes, yes, Lord. Thank you. So how can we lose when we got the Holy Spirit praying inside of us? Yes, and on the outside, standing before the Father, we got Jesus um, standing as a mediator between us. And we got God that has everything that we could possibly want in his hand. And as we begin to worship him, as we begin to glorify him, as we begin to acknowledge the Holy Spirit that's moving inside of us, let's be a good host to the Holy Spirit. Let's begin to read our Bibles because that's what the Holy Spirit needs. Let's begin to pray because the Holy Spirit desires prayer. Let's begin to appreciate the Holy Spirit of God inside of us. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Thank you. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for faith in your God. Yes, Lord. Father, we worship you right now. Yes, Lord. We bless you right now, dear Lord. Father, it is our desire today, before we leave this place, yes, Lord. that we say openly, we need yes. a closer walk yes, with you yes, daily. Yes, Lord. We need a closer walk with you daily. Help us, Lord. Your people are in need of your help. Help us, God. We humble ourselves in your presence. And we say, help us, Lord. Help us. Father, I pray that the Holy Spirit would take over now and begin to pray on our behalf because he's able to pray according to the will of God. Sometimes I don't know what the will of God is. The Holy Spirit prays according to the will of God. Damon prays according to the desires of Damon. But the Holy Spirit prays according to the will of God. The Holy Spirit will begin to pray according to the will of God. If we yield ourselves and avail ourselves, the Holy Spirit will begin to pray according to the will of God. We say we don't know what the will of God is. Well, the Holy Spirit does. Begin to allow him to pray through you. Hallelujah. Welcome, Holy Spirit. Welcome, Holy Spirit. Thank you. We bless you, Lord. We bless you, Father. Father, it is my prayer that this worship would not stop here in this building, but this personal revelation, this personal worship, this personal understanding of who you are will continue in our lives and transcend.